So I have a document that's just been translated from English US to English UK. It's really just because I was testing a grammar checker. And what I have here is segments that are in ordinary text, followed by grey italic text, which is just an explanation of what the grammar error was. So I could check to see what the grammar checker was picking up. So if I was only interested in translating the segment 1, segment 5, segment 8, segment 11, etc., and I wanted to hide the rest, but also perhaps make them translated just so that my statistics balanced, and so I can show you how you can do all this without a keyboard, then here's what I can do. So I start off at the beginning, and I move first of all to the first segment. I then press the Alt key down, and the Shift, or in fact I won't press the Shift key yet, I'll press the Alt key down and press the space bar. And you can see this puts a little black box around it, which tells me that I've just selected or th that's the active um, segment that I've just selected. If I now move the down arrow one and I press the space bar again and I'm holding the Alt key down the whole time I'm doing this then as I'm doing this every time I press the space bar I'm selecting a segment. If I don't press the space bar it just changes the focus of that little box so it goes somewhere else. Now another thing to notice I go down to this one. If I press the shift key down as well, so I'm still holding the alt key down, so I've got alt and then I hold down the shift. When I press the down arrow, it automatically selects the first two and then I can move down and select the next one. So you can, you can select large numbers without using the space bar if you hold down the shift key. But I'm going to let go of the shift key, still keeping the alt key down, skip the next one, shift key down, skip the next one, shift key down and I'm holding the alt key down all the time while I do this this time I'm just going to press the alt and the space bar same again same again same again shift shift so now what I've done is just using the keyboard is I've selected all of those segments as I was going along now if I want to change the status of all of those what I can do is and I'll do it slowly first of all if I press the Alt key, this activates the ribbon and if you just watch what's happening, so I press Alt, then H for the home ribbon, which activates the, all the shortcuts in the home, home ribbon, and then U, which is over here, it's a bit messy to see, but U, and then this gives me all of the different statuses with the letter by each one. So I could just pick straight away whichever one I wanted. So just to show you how that works, if I just escape out of the ribbon a second, so I've still got all those segments selected. If you just remember Alt H U, Alt H U very quickly brings it up and then if you can't remember which status to go to it's easy enough to see it because it's in front of you by this time. So you could say I want to change all those to translated so I just press T and that changes all the segments I've selected to translated. And then I could just press Control L to just lock them because I want them locked because what I'm going to do next is just filter on the unlocked so I only have to work with the stuff that's left over. To do that without the mouse I can just press Control Shift F6 Control Shift F6. This activates the um, display filter, and then I could go down to just using the mouse to unlocked, and so it's uh, now only going to display the unlocked. And now I could get on and do the job. So dead easy. Now just to show you how I, I could undo all that and how I could select everything in one go, because that's another question that people ask sometimes. If I just press Control Shift. F6 again, just to activate that, and I display all segments. So this now displays all the segments again. I'm in the first segment. If I just press Control Shift End at this point, this selects everything in the document. So I can then press Control L again, which unlocks everything, and then I could use Alt H U N for not translated, and then Control Home back to the beginning again, and now I'm back where I started from again all using the keyboard, not using the mouse. Something that not a lot of people realize you can do, but there's quite a bit of flexibility there and it's not too tricky at all. I hope that was useful anyway.